one of the critical bottlenecks to development in the low-income countries is the lack of innovation, which is a major driver for long-term economic growth. However, we have limited knowledge about the nature and the determinants of innovation in these countries, and we also don't know how governments can help and support innovation in this context. Innovation will serve as a meaningful driver in our socioeconomic development as a country. Innovation means, well, turning something round or bringing something new into your business. And I had to do that because I couldn't sell everything. Innovation is getting something new added, and added value to you, what you already have. Um, we've been very creative from the start. It's, it's, about it's about creativity and uh, selling at the same time. Innovation in this context is mainly learning-based incremental innovation. Our research finds that innovation is taking place in a wide spectrum of sectors in the low-income countries, in both the formal and the informal sectors. Firms tell us that they survive because they innovate. Innovation is not an outcome of development, but a means for development. After introducing all these things, it gives me more market. More market. Sometimes even people look at it and they thought it's from outside. Now, when we started, we were only employing people from a radius of one man. Now it's possible for us to bring people. I live at Aboba. People come from Asharibotui. Some of them come from Busu because there's demand for work. So that we transfer technology from the ivory tower to the local people. For us, that is what people is all about. Those who discovered me came from the Ministry of Agri, and they were very impressed. They've been bringing students here to come and see what you can do with mushrooms. The Technology and the Management Center for Development is a research center of Oxford University. The center aims to promote interdisciplinary research on technology and the management in the developing world. The Dinic project has contributed immensely to the development of capacity for innovation studies in step three. The outputs of, of the research that enabled um, policy discussion and policy debate on what has to be done to facilitate innovation in our country. Findings from our research will provide policymakers with solid evidence on the barriers to innovation and the effective transmission mechanisms for the diffusion of innovation within and to the low-income countries. In 2010, we came up with a national policy which we rightly describe as science, technology, and innovation policy. It clearly indicates the role of industry and then indicates the sources of funding that can let research and innovation be on a stable ground.